I run the Caparo Innovation Centre, which is a, it's a kind of a joint venture between Caparo PLC and the School of Engineering at the University. And Caparo PLC, they're a, a big um, engineering, manufacturing sort of company, a, a traditional metal basher really. So they're involved in steel forgings and aluminium castings and all sorts of, of, of engineering bits and pieces. Caparo, having so much kind of involvement in manufacturing, they strategically were interested in finding ways of bringing in new products into their business and really wanted to kind of strengthen the engagement with a university and the sort of expertise that they could find at a university. So, um, uh, and, and the answer to doing that was, was setting up, uh, as I've said, the Caparo Innovation Centre. We work with quite a lot of companies, not just Caparo companies, although obviously we do do a lot of work with, uh, with Caparo companies. We work on behalf of uh, Business Link, the Manufacturing Advisory Service, some of those activities in the, in the West Midlands. And we help companies with market research, maybe, or competitor product analysis, uh, patenting, uh, how best to protect their intellectual property, and everything that's kind of mixed in with new product development and commercialization. So besides working with companies, we're also open to approaches from independent inventors with, you know, who might have come up with some idea for a new product themselves. And um, we'll take a look at those ideas and for new product proposals that we think have got genuinely good commercial potential, then we'll offer a collaboration agreement and we'll work together with the inventor to develop the product, develop the business case around it and, and hopefully in the end license it to some existing company that is in the right place in the market to be able to do something with it. Um, so one particularly good example of that is a, is a product that we've worked on to stop people from accidentally putting petrol into their diesel cars. And uh, the inventor came up with the idea and he was driven to do it because having just paid for fixing his uh, BMW uh, after, after having done that, he came up with a, a, an excellent little mechanical device to fit in the fuel filler to stop it from happening. And uh, when you start to look at it, it's, it's a huge opportunity because um, tens of thousands of people do it, every, do it every year. So we worked with him to develop the design, develop the prototype, and then go and find a company to, uh, to take it to market. I think that uh, for small and medium enterprises, uh, there's so many examples really where we can see that the work that we've done has had a big, a big impact on what they're trying to do and uh, they seem to really uh, appreciate the contribution that we're making.